Hi there, my name is Dimitri and I'm very happy to announce that CLion 1.2 comes with Google Test Support. So let's take a look at how you would set up Google Test in your project. Now the first thing to note is that the official recommendation of Google Test is that you include Google Test as part of your project, which is exactly what I've done right here. So at the top level, I have a folder where my actual system under test is, plus in addition, I have a folder for tests. And this folder has additional folder for the tests themselves, as well as a lib folder where I've got an entire copy of Google Test. You can see it right here. So what I'm doing at the top level CMake list file is I'm essentially including both of the directories, both the directory for the actual system that I'm testing as well as the directory with all the tests. Now, if we go into the CMake list file inside the calendars tests, what you'll see in here is uh, that we're simply including the directory for the Google test as well as the directory for uh, the actual test. And if we go into the directory for the tests, finally, you'll see that we're simply linking the libraries from Google test as well as the library called calendars, which is what we're actually testing. Now let's talk about the tests themselves. Essentially, uh, the tests use the Google test framework and to run a test, you can simply put the cursor over one of the tests and press a shortcut. Now, several things have happened here at the same time. First of all, CLion has created a test configuration. In this case, we're running a single test called test EQ. So that's what CLion made. It made a configuration called test EQ. We can actually go into edit configurations and you'll see that in addition to the application configurations taken from the CMake targets, we also have a set of Google test configurations and some of them are grayed out and some of them are not. So essentially the grayed out configurations are configurations which you create initially. So when you press the shortcut, you make a configuration which doesn't stick around forever, but you can make it sticky or persistent by pressing the uh, save button here, in which case it becomes non grayed out anymore and you can keep reusing it. So essentially any configuration that gets made describes the suite that you're running, the test that you're running, as well as the target, the configuration, and you can specify additional parameters here. So let's press OK and take a look at what we've got. So in this case, we made a configuration and executed this configuration and it's called basic check test EQ and this executed just a single test. You'll see that we have a tree of tests here on the left as well as the actual output of tests on the right. So this was a single test, but let's take a look at a test fixture. So here I have a test fixture called calendar fixture. And if I press that same shortcut on the calendar fixture, I will run not one, but several tests. And you can see one of the tests took some time to run. So you see it took three seconds here and the absolute check test was almost instant. So here CLine has collected all the tests pertaining to this particular fixture. And we can certainly uh, once again see their results. So whether they succeeded or failed and we can see the output here as well. Now you can double click any of the tests to navigate to the actual test where you can perform uh, various modifications. And if you want to rerun the test again, there are different ways ways of doing that as well. So one of the ways is you can right click the test and choose run, but there is also a very useful button here called rerun fail test. And what this does is it uh, rebuilds the whole thing and makes C line uh, run just the tests which were failing the last time you ran them. So in this case, it ran just Julian check because that was the only test that has actually failed. Now let's rerun the entire fixture once again and take a look at some of the uh, additional options which are available here. So C line lets you sort tests. You can sort them by uh, alphabetical order or you can sort them by duration. So if I click like this, you'll see that the most most lengthy uh, test appears first. And in addition, it's also possible to uh, both export the test results and import them as well. And if we look at the imports, you will see that a certain number of runs have already been saved by C line. So you can click on one of them and it, this essentially uh, imports the set of test results that you had previously. And we also provide code generation facilities as well. So let's take a look at how that works. We actually have two different generate options here. We have test as well as test fixture. So the test fixture generator simply generates a class which inherits from testing test. You give the suite a name and then you're free to customize it and use it how you wish. Now the test 
uh, generator is more interesting because essentially uh, what it does is it generates a test stub but the interesting thing about this is that it's very sensitive to how you actually define it so for example if I go off and I use a fixture calendar fixture uh, in here and I give the test some name as soon as I press tab here you will notice that the test has been renamed from using the test macro to using the test underscore f macro as you can see here. So essentially C line will insert the appropriate test f or test p or type test or type test p macro depending on the actual context. So this has been a small demonstration of how C line supports Google Test. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.